Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Sean Arnold and welcome to another deck showcase video. Today I am finally ready to show off my Cyber Dragon deck. But before I do, I just want to say that um, I haven't finished this deck. This is a work in progress. I've been testing it for about a week now, almost about seven days. And um, it's just because there's so many different ways you can run this deck that I'm not completely satisfied with the way the deck is. But I wanted to show this off to you so uh, as it is now and show you some of the different options so perhaps either A you can give me some feedback and I can help to improve my own deck or um, I can give it to you guys and you guys can go build your own deck and discover it for yourself so um, first of all who is Cyber Dragon? Cyber Dragon is the main key card of a character named Saint Truesdale Saint Truesdale was from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and in the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX storyline he was considered the strongest duelist in the school around the start JD Nuki kind of takes that role later on, but at the beginning, everyone loves him. He's um, a very, very popular duelist. Bef um, in terms of the world of Yu-Gi-Oh, um, outside of the storyline, Cyber Dragon's arrival was really great because he put machine decks on the mark. Um, he made them a bit more viable. But before that, you had mostly just different types of different random bits of machine cards, something like the um, Bandit Key stuff, which wasn't really too strong. So um, after Cyber Dragon came. Um, cyber decks became, uh, not cyber decks, machine decks became a lot more viable. Cyber Dragon decks, however, mostly focus around this card here, Cyber Dragon. He is the blue eyes of this deck, he is the dark magician of this deck, he is the key card. And um, his effect is very simple. He's a level 5 light machine type monster, he is 2100 attack, and his effect is simple. If your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. It was a really great beat stick back in the day. Today he's a bit more um, kind of average. You know, he's not going to win you any games. He's not going to hold a position really well. But he's still a useful card because he's a strong, easy to summon special summon monster. Now, a lot of the cards which... Are, or a lot of the stronger cards which support Cyber Dragon all revolve around the, having the name Cyber Dragon to use them. Mostly the fusion cards and the extra deck cards Chimeratic Fortress Dragon, Cyber Dragon Nova, Cyber Twin Dragon, Cyber End Dragon, which is over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Cyber End Dragon, and um, Cyber, um, did I miss one? I don't know. But they all focus around um, the net using the card Cyber Dragon. However, this runs into the same problem which Harpies do. If you saw some of my Harpies videos or my Harpy Deck Showcase video, in there I explained that the problem with um, revolving all these cards around a single name is that you are limited to only having three copies of the same card in the deck. Now, Cyber Dragons kind of get over that problem the same way the Harpies do, in that all of their other monsters have an effect which says um, they are considered to be Cyber Dragon if they are on the field or in the graveyard. Now, um, the first one which I'm going to show off here is Cyber Dragon Core. Cyber Dragon Core is a really great solid Cyber Dragon card. He has two effects. His two effects are, well, his first effect is when this card is normal summoned, you can add one Cyber Spell or Trap card from your deck to your hand. Really, really great effect. Really um, solid searcher. It's easy to use. You can put, um, the best cards to bring out in my opinion are Cyber Repair Plant and Cyber Network, which I will talk about a little bit later on. But um, you really want this little guy out pretty much in your first turn, either in your grave or on your field, so that he's either doing his first effect or his second effect. His second effect is, if this card is in your graveyard and you control no monsters and your opponent controls a monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard to special summon one Cyber Dragon from your deck. It's a free way to get out Cyber Dragon from your deck onto the field, which really helps the deck and adds a lot of consistency to it. I don't get to use this effect too often, but when I do, it can be really, really great. There is a limitation to Cyber Dragon Core, however, and that is you can only use one of his effects um, in a turn. So if you have to kind of plan ahead, you've got to decide, are you going to go for the normal summon effect, or are you going to go for the special summon effect? It's up to you, but it all depends on the situation you're in. The second Cyber Dragon card which I use is Cyber Dragon Dry, or Dry. Um, my German's super rusty. And his, he also has two effects. His first effect is, when this card is normal summon, you can make all Cyber Dragons you control become level 5. That's really, really important. Level 5 is a key number in this deck. It's what Cyber Dragon is, and it's what brings out Cyber Dragon Nova, who I will talk about later. Um, really, really solid card. 
The only problem with this card is, is that um, all that effect is it only works when normal summoned, meaning you've got to get into your hand somehow before if you really want to pop up that effect. His second effect, oh and if you do use that effect also, you also only limit it to special summoning machine type monsters for that turn, so you gotta be you gotta manage that effect really really well. The second effect you have is that if this card is banished, you can target one cyber dragon you control and it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects this turn. This combines really well with Cyber Network, which I'll talk about later, and is the main way to banish this card. But um, it's not an effect which I use too often. In fact, I try not to banish Cyber Dragon Dry too often, really. Unless I know I'm going to have another one, which will make it level 5, but I'll talk about that later. And again, it, its name is also Cyber Dragon if, you, are, if you, ha you have it on the field or in the graveyard. Then I have Cyber Eltanin. Cyber Eltanin... Um, from what I've seen online, a lot of people are mixed about this card. Some people love it, some people hate it. I think having it at one copy is really, really useful. I think it's great in the late game or in the early game, just for banishing your Cyber Dragons from your graveyard. And um, also, its effect is pretty good too. So, let's talk about Cyber L Tannin. He's a level 10 machine monster. Can't really do too much with that. Um, you can only be special summoned from your hand by banishing all light machine type monsters from your side of the field and your graveyard and it cannot be special summoned by any other way. This card's attack becomes... Um, this card's attack and defense becomes the number of monsters banished for its special summon times 500. Um, so you really kind of... If you really care about the attack, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. If you really care about the attack, you want to save him for later in the duel so he has lots of monsters to Spanish. To banish, not, not Spanish, sorry. And... Um, but his other effect is also pretty useful. His other effect is that when he is special summoned, you have to send all other face up monsters on the field to the graveyard. It's really great kind of like a dark hole, um, a free dark hole that you can use. And it's really great against monsters or decks which kind of stop or are kind of against um, effects which um, trigger when destroyed or stop their monsters from being destroyed. Like a Stardust Dragon or um, there are tons of cards, tons of cards which um, aren't destroyed by other monsters effects or something like that. So having Cyber L Tannin is great because he doesn't destroy monsters, he sends them to the graveyard. So um, I think he's pretty useful, pretty versatile. Then we have Honest. Honest is um, a great hand trap. His effect, his main effect is simple. He, you can discard him from your hand during the damage step in either player's turn when a light monster battles and you can increase the attack of your opponent's monster but onto the attack of your monster. So let's say Cyber Dragon's getting attacked by something bigger. Let's say Stardust Dragon. You can drop Honest and it will increase Cyber Dragon's attack by 2500 and um, he'll naturally try to win the battle from there. This card can be really great for ending games. It can be really great for dealing a ton of damage in a single turn. So um, I've kept him in here because I think he's been kind of reliable for me. Although he isn't a machine monster, so he doesn't have much synergy with the rest of the cards in the deck. So. Um, but I think he's fairly useful. Okay, on to the key spell and trap cards. The first key spell and card is Cyber Repair Plant. Cyber Repair Plant has two effects, or three effects actually. You have to have a Cyber Dragon in your grave to activate it, and if you do, you can either A, add one light machine type monster from your deck to your hand, or B, target one machine type monster from your in your graveyard and put it back in your deck. There main effect is the searching one to add one machine type monster from your deck to your hand normally i would search out maybe another cyber dragon core or cyber dragon dry so that i can get into my hand for the normal summon effect but um, it really depends on the situation i don't really often use the, the second effect i don't really want to put more monsters in my deck unless i have to or i want to return a fusion monster back to my extra deck but um it can be um it's really really great to have it early in the game to search out your cards then there's Cyber Network. Cyber Network is a difficult card to use, but can be very useful when done right. So, first of all, his main effect is that you have to have Cyber Dragon on the field. And if you do, you can banish any Cyber Dragon from your deck. If When you banish that Cyber Dragon from your deck, um, you can trigger an effect like Cyber Dragon Dry, which protects your monsters. Although, mostly I will banish Cyber Dragon because I don't want to really draw this card here. Then, uh, sorry, you don't get to banish Cyber Dragon, you can banish any light machine type monsters. So um, just be, be aware of that, you can use it with other different cards as well. Then, 
Um, you can do this once per turn, both in your, your turn and your opponent's turn. Then after three turns, it automatically destroys itself and you can special summon as many light machine type monsters from your banished pile as much as you can. But when you do that, you have to destroy all spells or traps cards on your field, which is why I'm not running many trap cards in this deck because it kind of clashes with that. Hopefully, what I would aim to do is to fill up my field and banish about three, all three Cyber Dragons and maybe um, some of the Cyber Dragon Dry or Cyber Dragon Core. Uh, pr probably preferably Cyber Dragon um, Core to bring that back and to reuse its effect but um, when it goes back into the graveyard but it really depends on what I draw and what I have um, but it's a really great card for swarming the biggest downside with this card though is that the effect the turn that you use it you can't conduct your battle phase so that means if you try to use this if you try to let it just ah, sorry if you let it be destroyed by your own effect or by its own effect it's going to um, stop you from attacking during that turn which kind of gives your opponent a whole turn to kind of prepare and counter your swarm I think that's kind of good it kind of balances the card out because it's a really powerful effect but uh, you really want to try to avoid that so I have three copies of MST in my deck so that I can destroy that card during my um, the end phase of my opponent's turn so that during my turn I can still attack with my monsters and not have any kind of downside to using it. You do lose two cards by doing this, Cyber Network and Cyber Mystical Space Typhoon, but it's a trade-off worth having in order to just be able to swing at your opponent and try to win the game there and then. So those are the main Cyber Dragon cards. Oh, I also have Power Bond. Power Bond, um, Power Bond is a really great um, fusion summon card. Um, however, some people don't think you should use it. Some people think you should uh, or should not use it. I, um, from my experience, I don't think it's too much of a hindrance to a deck like this because it's so easy to recycle your monsters and to keep bringing monsters out. However, I can understand why some people might avoid using this card. However, it's a card that effect is quite good in that um, it allows you to bring out one of the uh, mostly Cyber Twin Dragon but a fusion monster. And if you do, that monster's attack is doubled. So if you bring out Cyber Twin Dragon with Power Bond, it comes out as 5600 attack and Cyber Twin Dragon's effect that allows you to attack twice during the battle phase. So you're going to deal about, what is that, 10,200? 10, 10,200 damage to your opponent. No, it's not. It's 11,000. 11,200 damage to your opponent if you can attack directly with Cyber Twin Dragon. It's really great at trying to win a game in that right moment, but you've got to manage it well because um, it has two downsides. One, you lose some cards with it. Um, you lose three cards to bring out one card. But also, um, during the end phase of the turn, you take damage equal to the original attack of that monster. So if you bring out Cyber Twin Dragon with it, which is what you mostly would be doing, then you will take 2800 damage in your end phase if you can't win that turn. So you got to be careful with a card like this. To help the deck run a bit more smoothly, I have three copies of Pot of Duality, one copy of One Day of Peace, three copies of Upstart Goblin. These cards just help you get through your deck as fast as possible because I kind of find the Cyber Dragons to be slow. If you, With Cyber Network's limitation, Cyber Repair Plant's limitation that you have to have a Cyber Dragon in your graveyard, Cyber Dragon's limitation that you can only be special summoned when you're, you control no monsters, Cyber Dragon Core's limitation that you can only use a second effect when um, you control no monsters and your opponent does. And um, it kind of, um, it can be a little bit slow because they try to slow you down in order to balance out these effects. So having these cards just helps you get through your deck as quickly as possible to your key cards. Part of Duality is um, unpopular with a lot of people for a Cyber Dragon deck. However, I think it's really helpful in the first turn to be able to search out a card when you're only going to really be normal summoning. And um, really great just for that early gameplay. Probably a bit more of a hindrance in the mid play, but so far it's been fine for me. One Day of Peace is a mixed card. Um, I like it because you get to draw a card and it also stops you receiving any damage for um, until your opponent's next end phase. However, your opponent also gets to draw a card, so it's kind of a mixed, kind of a mix on this card, kind of double edged sword. However, it does work well with Power Bond, it will stop its damage effect in the end phase, so you won't take any damage. And it's really great to use if, say, you summon out Cyber Dragon Core and you have nothing to protect him, and so you don't, so you know you're going to take some damage, so you can use one day of peace. 
As well as all of this, we also have limited removal. Limited removal doubles the attack of all the machine type monsters you control. Um, but however, you you're, you end up having to destroy your machine monsters in the end phase. A really another great card for just trying to swing for the win. Um, however, you've got to just use it wisely. Then also, I have instant fusion, and I'm going to talk about instant fusion now. But um, I'll talk about instant fusion in a second. I've got forbidden lots to help protect my monsters a bit more. Rageki to um, clear the field and so that I don't really have anything to stop my attacks and Vanity is Emptiness which I run just to slow my opponent's decks down if they are doing a lot of special summoning. Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion allows you to bring out a fusion monster that's level 5 or lower and for the cost of 1000 life points however that monster cannot attack for the turn and um, it's destroyed during the end phase. The main target I use for that is Panzer Dragon. Panzer Dragon is a level 5 light machine monster which is really um, runs really well with Cyber L Tannin and other um, light machine um, requirements effects. He works well with Honest as well, but you're not really going to use him with Honest unless you bring him back. And then um, he, the reason why I like this card is because one, he's ranked at level five, which allows helps me bring out Cyber Dragon Nova. However, also um, if you have to use him and you, he does get destroyed in the end phase. His effect is that when he is destroyed, you get to destroy one card on the field. So, it's kind of a first tower removal card. It kind of turns instant fusion into a pay 1000 life points in order to destroy one card in the end phase. Kind of first tower for that, but the main reason you want to bring him out is to bring out Cyber Dragon Nova, who I'll talk about now. Cyber Dragon Nova is a huge improvement, a huge addition to the Cyber Dragon archetype. Cyber Dragon. Nova has two effects, I think. His first effect is once per turn you can detach one XE material monster from this card, then target one Cyber Dragon in your graveyard and special summon it. You would hope that you could do something crazy where you could bring out Cyber Dragon Nova, use this effect to special summon another one, and then somehow bring out another Cyber Dragon so to bring out another Cyber Dragon Nova, then use the effect again, and you can kind of just quickly fill your field up with Cyber Dragons. Really, really great um, effects for keeping your field presence and reusing your cyber dragons. Second effect is that um, during either player's turn, you can banish a cyber dragon from your hand or the field, and you can increase this card's attack by 2100, making him 4200. I like to keep him safe with this effect. I like to use him this effect to do a lot of damage on a lot of turn. Really versatile effect. However, you do lose a cyber dragon by doing it, so it's a bit difficult to manage. But just be smart when you use it. The final effect, I hope I said that he had three effects earlier. The final effect is that if he is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you get to bring out a fusion monster. And the fusion target that I use is Cyber Twin Dragon. Is it any fusion monster? Yeah, one machine type fusion monster. I bring out Cyber Twin Dragon because I don't really have much room in this deck. Um, Cyber End Dragon would be a better target maybe for the attack, but um, I'd just bring out Cyber Twin Dragon. Or maybe Panzer Dragon if I know that the fusion monster is going to be destroyed anyway. So um, and then his effect will get to pop off. So Cyber Dragon Nova is a really great solid card to go into it and you kind of want to bring him out at least once every single game. Uh, Cyber Fortress Dragon. Cyber Fortress Dragon is a really versatile card. Cyber Fortress Dragon is a contact fusion card in that you require no fusion card to bring him out. You can just bring him out by having the requirements on your field. And that is Cyber Dragon and one or more machine type monsters. The beautiful thing about this effect is that you can use any machine type monsters from either side of the field, even your opponent's cards. So your, if your opponent has, uh, let's say, Mecha Phantom Beast Dracosac, and you bring out Cyber Dragon, you can use them both to. Um, going to Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, which gets a thousand attack for every single fusion material monster you used. Really, really great. This card effect alone, along with Cyber L Tannin, it are really great mass removal cards, particularly if you decide to run DNA Surgery. DNA Surgery is a trap card which allows you to declare one monster type and all monsters on the field become that type. And therefore, if you do that with Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, you can kind of wipe your opponent's entire field by sending them all for his summon. So a really great card to use. It's also a really great um, card to just get Cyber Dragons into your graveyard because sometimes you might not have one in your grave to use Cyber Repair Plant or to use um, Cyber Dragon Core's second effect. 
So you sometimes you just want to get a, um, a Cyber Dragon into your grave as quickly as possible. And you can't do an XC summon because it gets attached to it unless you can detach it that or you know you're gonna attach it that turn. So sometimes he's just great for that too. Then I have some other rank five monsters. I know this video has been long, but thank you for bearing with me. Um, I have other rank five monsters so far. I'm just messing around with these three. Volcosaurus is great because he ends games. You can um, destroy one monster and inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroying monster's attack. Really great for just winning and finishing off the game if you, if, if you um, have to use him. I'm using Arsenal Send Mile for his effect to destroy two set cards on the field. Although I might take him out because I think sometimes, um, because he has to target two set cards all the time, sometimes I can't use him, but he's great to use, plus he's a machine type. And then I have Artreus, Keeper of Armageddon. Who can destroy one face-up monster on the uh, one face-up card on the field that um, my opponent controls? So just other options there, but there are tons of other rank five monsters to use, and um, it's just up to you really to be creative enough to decide what you want to use for all of these options. Okay, I know this video has been super long, probably my longest. This is my longest deck showcase video ever, but uh, there's just so much to talk about in this deck. Which is why it's taken me so long to do this. But thank you for bearing with me so far. I'm just going to quickly go through some of the other kind of combinations I've t tested and tried. But um, aren't currently in my deck. And um, then I'm going to wrap up this video. So the first one we have here is Chronomaly Golden Jet. Chronomaly Golden Jet is a light machine type monster. It's not the Cyber Dragon. However, once per turn when he's on the field, you can increase his level by 1. Making him level 5. Which brings out uh, rank 5 monsters like Cyber Dragon Nova or any others. So I have a Chimera Tech Overdragon, the other kill card, the other boss monster for um, um, Cyber Dragon X. I'm only not using him for the time being just because I don't have space and I'm still testing. I do want to try using him with Overload Fusion. However, I just haven't felt like I needed him so far. Um, he's a really great monster in that you can, um, you can use any number of machine type monsters plus one Cyber Dragon. And he gains 800 attack for um, each of those that you use. And during the turn, um, sorry, during the turn that you attack, you can attack your opponent's monsters a number of times equal to the number of fusion monsters used for its fusion summon. So if you manage to use, say, three, he gets to attack three times. Two, he gets to attack two times. Preferably, you want more than that. However, this deck isn't really great at dumping a lot of monsters in the graveyard for me to use overload fusion, which summons out my Chimera Tech Overtracking. So I'm not using him just yet, but I might try him out later on. Quick draw synchron, machine type, level 5, easy to special summon, just discard one card. So if you just want more level uh, level 5 monsters that are easy to bring out, Cyber Dragon Nova, those are options there. There are some others to use, but um, I'm not really focusing on solely bringing out rank 5s. I'm doing it a mix of fusion and uh, rank 5s. Dark Holes, Dark Hole, F Foolish Burial, dumps a monster in the grave. I don't like it because it's a negative one card, but yeah. Uh, Power Boy, I was using three at one point, but I'm just using two. DNA Surgery, I talked about. Removal cards, we got there. Uh, just talk about these two. Trap Stunt and Wire Tap. Wire Tap and Trap Stunt are both great anti-trap cards. Trap Stunt is great because it negates all other trap cards, even ones that are already activated. And Wire Tap is great because it shuffles the card back into your deck and negates the activation. Whew, that was long. Wow, there was so much to talk about with this deck. This deck is not the most user-friendly deck in my opinion. I know it's popular amongst a lot of new players because Zane could be their favourite card and they really like Cyber Dragons. However, it's not an easy deck to use. And um, I'm going to start recording some videos with this. I'm going to start showing off some of my um, jewels with it. But like I said, it's not in a state where I'm completely happy with it. But... Um, Maybe I'll make a very, very short video when I'm completely happy and done with this deck just to show off what my final build is if people are interested. Anyway, this video's been way too long. Thank you guys so much for listening to me chat about Yu-Gi-Oh! and other nonsense. Um, you know I love you. You know that um, I appreciate all the time that you guys have given to um, just enjoying my content and um, I hope that um, in the future, I can keep providing stuff that you enjoy. If you have any feedback, please let me know in the comments down below. Or hit me up on Twitter, PSN. Lots of people talk to me through PSN, so please don't be shy. More than happy to chat or duel if I'm online. And um, just thank you, thank you, thank you. Much love, take care, and goodbye.